Careers after college. Media and social services. A career associated with media and social services is announcers. What they do, present music, news, and sports, provide commentary, and interview guests about topics. There are two types of announcers, radio and television, and public address. With an announcing job, there comes a number of years of school needed to attend in grad school as well. Experience, contacts, and a good portfolio matter more than a diploma, but getting an education is a great way to build all three. With radio and television announcers, they typically have a bachelor's degree in journalism, broadcasting, or communications, along with the experience, work experience gained from working at their college radio or television station. A public address announcer typically needs a high school diploma, along with a short term on the job training. The salary that comes along with announcers According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, they estimated announcers in radio and TV broadcasting earned an average yearly salary of $40,510 in 2011. Announcers who work off-air using a public address system at a ballpark, for example, earned $39,870. The availability of announcing jobs is expected to grow slower than the average for all careers through 2020. Because radio and television stations in smaller markets have smaller staff, advancement within the same small market station is unlikely. Rather, many video and radio and television announcers advance by relocating to a station in a larger market. There are many factors due to this little job growth expectancy. In the announcing career, there are many gender disparities. Today, women still struggle to earn the same advantage as men are granted in the newsroom. Women reporters are frequently regulated to soft news stories like health and entertainment news, where male counterparts are given stories of political and international importance. The second career I'd like to discuss is the career of writers. What do they do? Writers develop written content for advertisements, books, magazines, movie and television scripts, songs, and online publications. The years of schooling and grad school required for a writer are their bachelor's degree, or a college degree in a subject related to writing, such as English or communications. Some creative writers go on to earn an MFA, which is a Master of Fine Arts, in creative writing or playwriting. The proficiency with computers is also necessary for staying in touch with sources, editors, and other writers while working on assignments. Excellent writing skills are always essential. The exams tests needed in the salary for writers is the following. To get paid, writers need to create a collection of published writing, samples, or clips, which they often develop while volunteering or interning for organizations. And the median annual wage for writers and authors was $55,940 in May 2012, which is approximately $26.89 per hour. Along with announcing jobs, the growth and availability for writers is expected to be slower than average for all careers through 2020. The growth of the web should create jobs, although many people want to work as writers, so competition for jobs should be stiff. For the best opportunities, make sure you're comfortable writing for digital media. Moving up in the writing career, many writers work part-time, and the income from freelance writing is unsteady, since most freelancers work on temporary projects. Until you're established as a freelancer, you may have to support yourself with other work. Health and Science a career as a physician's assistant is one of the 15th best jobs in America, with a 30% job growth and 360 annual job openings. This is a good career. With the lowest 10% earning $62,000, the median $92,000, and the highest 10% $130,000 annually. What is a physician's assistant? A PA practices medicine on a team under the supervision of physicians and surgeons. They are formally educated to examine patients, diagnose injuries and illnesses, and provide treatment. To become a PA, you need a certain amount of schooling, with four years for a bachelor's degree and three years in the master's degrees under the PA assistant studies. Your total years of schooling would be seven years. Certain exams are also required, such as your GREs and your physician's assistant national certification. 65% of the field is dominated by women. Usually people who are 25 and 33 years old are PAs, and the average retirement is 67 years old. There's not much one could do to move up the corporate ladder. You could have a raise in pay, or if you could take the ne next step in continuing your studies as a doctor and opening your own practice. Dentistry has been listed the number one best career in America. It has a 16% expected growth from 2012 to 2022 with the best salary of $187,000 annually. 
In order to become a dentist, you need a bachelor's degree, a degree in dental college, and you need to attend a postgraduate program. In total, this is 10 to 16 years of schooling. Some exams are also required, such as your GREs, dental acceptance of tests, and national and state licensing exam. Those who become dentists are usually around the age 35 to 45. 70% of the field is dominated by men, while 30% is dominated by women. In order to move up the corporate ladder, one could own its one's own practice. Public and social services. Social workers help people solve and cope with problems in their everyday lives. Clinical social workers are able to diagnose and treat mental, behavioral, and emotional issues. Some important qualities that this career entails are compassion, interpersonal skills, listening skills, organizational skills, problem-solving skills, and time management skills. The median pay for social workers is $44,200 per year. Employment of social workers is projected to grow 19% from 2012 to 2022. The median annual wages for social workers in May 2012 were as follows. 54560 for all other social workers, 49830 for healthcare social workers, 41530 for child, family, and school social workers, and 39980 for mental health and substance abuse social workers. Becoming a licensed clinical social worker usually requires a master's degree in social work and a minimum of two years or 3,000 hours of supervised clinical experience after graduation. In order to become a social worker, a bachelor's degree in social work, a BSW, is the most common requirement for entry-level positions. However, some employers may hire workers who have a bachelor's degree in related fields such as psychology or sociology. Some positions require a master's degree in social work, an MSW. A master's degree in social work generally takes two years to complete. All states have some type of licensure or certification requirement, which varies by state. There are multiple options for moving up the ladder in social work. There's opportunity for raise and pay, becoming a clinical social worker, or owning your own agency. The duties of a probation officer include evaluating offenders to determine the best course of rehabilitation, providing offenders with resources such as job training, testing offenders for drugs and offering substance abuse counseling, monitoring offenders and help with their progress, conducting meetings with offenders and their families and friends, and writing up reports on the progress of offenders. Probation officers and correctional treatment specialists work with and monitor offenders who are given probation instead of jail time, who are still in prison or who have been released from prison to prevent them from committing new crimes. The median annual wage for probation officers and correctional treatment specialists was $48,190 in May 2012. The lowest 10% earned less than $31,590, and the top 10% earned more than $83,410. Becoming a probation officer requires a bachelor's degree in either social work, criminal justice, behavioral sciences, or a related field. Most probation officers and correctional treatment specialists must complete a training program sponsored by their state government or the federal government, after which they may have to pass a certification test. In addition, they may be required to work as trainees for up to one year before being offered a permanent position. Officers receive training specific to the group that they are working with so that they are better prepared to help that type of offender. Advancement to higher positions is primarily based on experience and performance. A master's degree in criminal justice, social work, or psychology may be required for advancement. Employment of probation officers and correctional treatment specialists is projected to show little or no change from 2012 to 2022. Employment growth depends primarily on the amount of state and local government funding for corrections, especially the amount allocated to probation and parole systems. Limited state and local government fundings for corrections over the coming decade will stall employment growth. The Arts Jobs associated in the arts include producers and directors. What do they do? They can create motion pictures, television shows, live theater, and other performing arts productions. 
They also interpret a writer's script to entertain or inform an audience. Other duties include selecting cast for production, finalizing a set design, keeping a project on the budget, and managing time constraints. Certain projects also require a lot of traveling or could be stationary or on set. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the median annual wage for film directors was a little over $71,000 a year. The top industries in film include motion and picture video industries, cable and other subscription programming, television broadcasting, and performing arts companies. Schooling required for producers and directors is usually a bachelor's degree. Many students study film or cinema at college universities, and some go on to have a master's degree in fine arts. Um, job availability after graduating is predicted to grow 3% by 2022, which is slower than other occupations. It is definitely possible to move up the corporate ladder, whether you're a producer or a director, but most of it is due to your reputation and success on your productions. As your reputation grows, you can be in charge of directing higher and larger profile projects. But in the individual work environment, you can move from being an associate producer to an assistant producer and eventually reach executive producer status. Or you can be an assistant director and move up to be a head director. Another career in the arts is a fashion designer. What do fashion designers do? They work individually or as a team to create clothing, accessories, footwear, or costumes. They also study fashion trends and predict future trends to produ produce an original piece. They also travel and attend fashion shows and work long hours and have to meet specific deadlines for a product. The Bureau of Labor Statistics estimates the median pay for fashion designers is a little over $62,000. The top five industries include management of companies and enterprises, specialized design and services, apparel manufacturing, or apparel piece goods and merchant wholesalers. Most fashion designers are likely to have a bachelor's degree in either fashion design or fashion merchandising. Experience in computer-aided design is needed, as well as a portfolio built up to show creativity. However, the job market is predicted to decline by 3% in 2022 due to the expansion of the apparel industry creating their products overseas. This limits the job availability for fashion designers in the, new, in the U.S. As a fashion designer, moving up the corporate ladder includes experience. You can advance up to a chief designer position, to a design department head, to a creative director or another supervisory position where they oversee certain fashion lines or brands by a company. Some experienced designers may start their own design company or sell their designs in their own retail stores. A few of the most successful designers work for high fashion design houses that offer personalized design services to their clients.